when I was on the paper, right, and you had all these friends, and I worked with them, and then suddenly they're gone. I know. But I was lucky because I wasn't on it at the time. Do you feel bad? Yeah. You know, because it's I think what they call it these days is um, post-traumatic stress disorder. And one of the guys I remember, and the last conversation I had with him. He'd just been taking his family to Disney World in Florida, but that was it. He died that night, and that was the last time his family would ever gone on holiday. That, you know, that's really sad. There was lots and lots of guys who, who, who had similar stories. Some of them were very young. I think the youngest guy was 19. Oh gosh! I mean, that's just not long enough. No, really. it's not long enough at all, darling, is it? But everything at home was still the same. All my friends were at home were the same. Everything was exactly the same. But I still felt this incredible feeling of, like, loss. And... And... I, it was just... I couldn't... I found it difficult to speak to people in Aberdeen because nobody knew the people that I knew that died. But you know what I do now? You know what I do now at the Piper Alpha Memorial? I look at some of the names. I can still see their faces. I can still hear what they sound like. And usually what I do is I take... Uh, I take two or three coffee beans and I leave it on on the plinth just to say that I've been there. So that's my way of saying I remember you guys.